Uh, apparently, most of us have trust issues. New data from the Pew Research Center shows trust in government is at an all-time low. 16% of people say they trust government all or most of the time, while only 4% say the current political system is working extremely or very well. The latest polling points to dissatisfaction on both sides of the aisle, with 86% of respondents saying both parties are more focused with fighting with each other than solving problems. Research scholar and lecturer in politics and public affairs at Princeton University, Lauren Wright, is here. Good morning, Lauren. You know, what is the point? What's the motivation for research on information we as Americans already know? Well, if you're talking about research on information garnered about elections, the big problem is that Americans pay so much attention to national elections, which affect their daily lives less than local and municipal and state elections, which affect their lives more. So as far as what's going on in the national political landscape, Adrian, we're actually pretty good at figuring that out. But when it comes to those local races that are happening in our our neighborhoods, turnout can be as low in a school board race as 10%, for instance, while presidential race was 66% in 2020. Yeah, but this apathy, this distrust of government, yeah. it's something we talk about quite often. I mean, I'm sure you and your friends, especially with your academic background, have spirited uh, conversations <laughs> about what's going on in the country. But for any American watching right now, they're having those same conversations, maybe a little differently, around the dinner table or with their friends at the sports bar. And, and a lot of Americans, I think, are fed up with surveys for the sake of surveys. So where sure. does this data actually turn into real world solutions? So I get tired of it too, Adrian, and I do this for a living. So Thanks for being I'm honest. part of that exhausted percentage that Pew found in this recent study. But, you know, really when it comes down to it, when the economy is doing great, when Americans feel that their future is full of prosperity, when they're optimistic, they maybe have more bandwidth to pay attention to politics. But when they're really struggling and the majority of Americans do say now that they're not optimistic about the economy, they think things are getting worse, they feel worse off than they did a few years ago, then paying attention to politics, the costs sort of get very high when you're worried about your day-to-day -day life and your kids and your health. And so in that way, it's not always rational to pay attention to national politics. But really what most people are reacting to is polarization. And so when they're answering these questions on the survey, they're thinking about that other party that they really have a distaste for at least and a hatred for at most and how bad of a job they're doing. Yeah, and in the new poll, the most common word used to describe American politics was divisive. But is there any showing of numbers here through this survey or others that people are becoming more engaged or more involved, even at that local level, which you've brought up a couple of times in our conversation, yeah. to try to bring forward solutions themselves or see themselves as part of the political system here? Well, turnout in local elections is still very low. It has been for many years. But in national elections, it's increased. Um, in midterms, especially, it has increased. We're almost at about 50% participation, which is actually really good for the US. And then there's this classic debate in political science, Adrian, that I think is, you know, speaks to a lot of the conversations we've had about if you package politics as entertainment, if it is a lot of fighting and a lot of clashing and a lot of action, is that good or bad for democracy? And some scholars think actually it's good because you're getting people to at least pay attention and they learn about politics at least incidentally, even through infotainment. Of course, the other side of that is some scholars think, no, this is terrible. We're watering down these policy debates. And in that survey, a lot of Americans said they want more policy information, less infighting. So yeah. there is a sizable percentage that agrees. Well, it'd be interesting to see if we will throw around hashtags like the silent majority uh, right. ever again, because so many more people are vocal, not just on social media, but showing up at school board meetings, though those have been contentious and hopefully showing up at the polls uh, this election cycle. Lauren Wright, thank you as always for being here. 
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.